isn't gone And to think I lied When I said goodbye, it's true I'm holding on to you Like a star in the sky Floating up so high I'm gonna fall for you Catch me when I do day drifts by without an evening sigh from me. I close my eyes to see when the fire flies light. On most of the, uh, the video management software platforms, single license as well. So this is an example of a good application uh, in front of a school. Uh, I can show you some other images. So what we see in here is basically like a, all different kind of images where basically one camera, one so you can wire see. run can one give us like a great view. Seven, seven bay doors. Seven bay doors. So imagine you run to one location, you cut a lot on the labor instead of running to about six, seven cameras in a case like that. And then you can also zoom into an area. And because it's megapixel, you can zoom in and still have good clarity, uh, good recognition, good identification uh, of what's going on. We call that situational awareness, and that's one of the benefits of a, a wide view panoramic camera. Can you tell us, tell us what is an MSRP of one of those? Uh, we have two versions. We have an 8 megapixel camera, and uh, MSRP is about 2300 the 20 megapixel version is uh, uh, under $3,000, around $2,900, which is still less than the, the cost of a commercial PTZ. A commercial pan tilt zoom camera would be roughly about $3,500. Yeah, it's so a good one. A great value and a lot more information. A good PTZ camera MSRP will range anywhere between two and $3,500. And what it will do, it will pan, zoom, yes, but it's not going to give you like a fixed picture of a big area, of a large area. So if the like camera, this if the panto zoom do. is just looking at this door, you're missing everything else in the picture. And the benefit of our camera is that you're getting the entire field of view all the time. So if you have to uh, research an event after the fact, you have documentation of the entire view. And you save a lot on label because you don't have to. Let's say if you want to go with few fixed cameras to be able to view a wide area, you're going to have to run wires to each one of the cameras. That's right. So if you run, let's say, for five cameras, for example, it can take two to three days of labor. In here, it's probably going to take about three hours, and the camera is installed and it's done. So a lot of the cost is going to be cut, which is amazing. Great. So thank you, Rick, very much. All right, have a good lesson about cameras today. All thank right. you. Enjoy the expo.